felt a shiver running down her spine as she stepped out of her house and sitting glow of the sun, casting everything in a surreal light. The streets were eerily quiet. The usual bustle of the small town replaced by an oppressive stillness. As she made her way to the desert streets, Emily could not shake the feeling that something was watching her, lurking just beyond the edge of her vision. Shadows seemed to dance and twist at the corners of her vision, taking on sinister shapes the sent chill down Emily's spine. She quickened her pace, her heart pounding in her chest. No matter how fast she walked, the feeling of unease followed her like a shadow, clinging to her as a second skin. Emily reached the town square and stopped dead in her tracks, her breath catching in her throat. The fountain in the center of the square was bathed in an unnatural glow. The water shimmering with an otherworldly light. The statues that surrounded it seemed to come to life in this eerie illumination. Their faces twisted into grotesque masks of pain and despair. A shiver ran down Emily's spine as she tore her gaze away from the fountain and scanned the square. Everywhere she looked, she saw signs of the sun's influence. Buildings seemed to warp and twist in the strange light. Their once familiar shapes distorted into grotesque characters of themselves. Even the air itself seemed to shimmer and ripple, as if reality itself were unraveling the scenes. But it was the shadows that unnerved her the most. They seemed to move of their own accord, twisting and writhing in the strange light. Emily watched in horror as they coiled around lampposts and benches, reaching out with clawed fingers that seemed to beckon her closer. With a shudder, Emily tore her gaze away from the shadows and forced herself to keep moving. She needed to find answers to understand what was happening. But with each step she took, the feeling of unease grew stronger until it felt like the very air was pressing down on her, suffocating her with its weight. As she wandered the desert streets, Emily could not shake this feeling that was being watched. She glanced over her shoulder more than once, half expecting to see someone or something lurking in the shadows behind her. There was nothing, only the empty streets and oppressive silence that seemed to suffuse the town and a thick fog. Emily's heart pounded in her chest as she turned a corner and found herself face to face with a figure standing in the middle of the road. It was a woman, her features obscured by the shadows, her eyes glowing with an unnatural light. Emily took a step back, her breath catching in her throat. Oh, are you? She whispered, her voice barely more than a hoarse whisper. The woman did not respond. Instead, she took a step forward, her movements slow and deliberate. Emily's heart hammered in her chest as she backed away, her mind racing with fear and confusion. 
confusion. But before she could turn and run, the woman spoke, her voice echoing in the empty streets like a death knell. You should not be here, she said. Her voice cold and hollow. None of us should be here. With that, she turned and vanished into the shadows. Leaving Emily alone in the empty streets. Her heart pounding in her chest. As Emily stood there, her mind reeling with fear. And confusion, she realized with a sinking feeling that whatever was happening was far from over. And she was beginning to suspect that she might not make it out of this.